here in the city of Montebello, California, catching up with uh, super featherweight uh, boxer Ivan Striker Delgado. Ivan, we're here on event for all the amateur kids and uh, professional fighters like yourself. Um, your coach, Yukita Morales, put it all together. How's everything going? Everything's everything going well so far. You know, we had a little uh, little inconvenience coming over here, but uh, the, the good thing is that we're here and uh, it's, a, it's a good little event, you know, for all the kids to gather up together. You know, especially that this is my home, my home gym, and, and you know, just everybody out, out here together having a good time on Thanksgiving Day. Well, it feels good. How does it feel to give back to the community? Just like you said, this is like the fifth year in a row that your uh, head coach puts it all together. Well, it feels good, you know, having to give back where, 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 where I would say where I grew up in, in a sense because this is where I train at and there's all, all the people together right here, you know, it feels good being amongst each other and just, just giving back to those that support us 100%. Starting next year, you're about to um, get your career going again since your last fight. How's everything going in your training camp? Well, so far we, we just started training camp about about, uh, about three weeks ago, and uh, we're scheduled we're scheduled to fight December eighth. It got postponed to January nineteenth, but even better, you know, so we could uh, have a little longer training camp and, and and start the next year with hopefully with a dub, you know. It's been a uh, last round promotion. Last round promotion. Yes. Where is this event gonna be taking place? I believe the event's gonna be held in Ontario, California. I'm not exactly sure where exactly gonna be at, but it's gonna be in Ontario. Um, how did you take your first professional loss? I know it's been a few years, it's been talked about, um, you lost by a KO. How did you manage to get over that uh, hump in your career? Well, well what it was is, uh, how can I say, uh, everything happens for a reason, you know, everything happens for a reason. We, we, won, we had the mentality of winning that night and it didn't go, out, it didn't go, out, it didn't go out as planned. But everything happens for a reason, and, and hopefully sometime next year I would like to rematch and um, you know get, get my little rhythm back a little by little. But other than that, everything's going good. You know I took a little six months off to stay with the family and, and just enjoy the family. But other than that, I take it pretty well. We come, we're coming back even stronger. Do you think there will be a chance for you to to get the rematch with Charles? Uh, yeah, hopefully, yeah, hopefully sometime next year in July. Um, we sit down and we negotiate and we talk about the fight, you know, hopefully. Uh, I know he didn't look so so good in his last fight, but uh, I think it'll be a, a good fight. I don't know, you guys you guys were there that night at, at Velasco and, and we had everything sold out. It was a great crowd. Yes. Um, I'm pretty sure right at this moment you don't know who your opponent is going to be for January the 19th. No, I don't. How many rounds will you be fighting on this that? This one's night? scheduled for a sixth round. And um, in March, I'm scheduled for an eight-rounder, and then uh, after there, we will we'll see how it goes. Um, what can fight fans expect to see? I know you've been working on some of the, some of the mistakes you made back in April 14th uh, for that fight against Charles. Yeah, well, you, hopefully you guys can see a, a smarter, smarter guy that, that night, and uh, just uh, stronger, you know, smarter and and, and, and wiser, and, and with a lot, with a little bit more experience, you know, not go out there just to just throw it and just be be a little bit more patient when in there. You're only 27 years old with a record of 11 and 1. There's plenty of Ivan the Strike Delgado for the fight fans. Yeah, yeah, there is, there is, man. So stay tuned and hopefully you guys will be able to uh, make it the night in Ontario. You know, I'll keep you guys uh, posted. Uh, my new Instagram is striker underscore 1990. There you have it, ladies and gentlemen. The return of Ivan the Strike Delgado, January 19th in Ontario, California. Thank you, Ivan. Thank you.